Hey, before we get to that video, I just want to say that I'm doing a 24 hour stream on June 21st. That is next Friday, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. There will be chances to win thousands of dollars. I'll probably be giving a hundred dollars away to like diff 20 different individuals, uh, Xbox giveaway, PlayStation giveaway, maybe a switch giveaway. We're going to be sub matching. There's going to be so much going on giving back to this community because I feel like I really should. Um, and I really want to give back to the community. So we're probably giving away $5,000, maybe a little bit more during this stream. So make sure you show up again. That is June 21st, 6 PM Eastern. I'll see you there. Twitch.tv slash Sam the dude. Yo, what's going on? 67. Let's go to do. We're doing a ranked one V one and I'm fighting a Loki with 115 stars, to be released. which is a little bit terrifying. His name is I J Joe. Eight J Joe. A J Joe. J Joe. Um, do I go live still here or do I just simply not? Did I go Blackthorn? No. There's power on it now. I forgot. Um, I could go Curse Weaver. I think Curse Weaver is a ridiculously overpowered item, by the way. Like just just a full blown genuinely ridiculous item. All I do is eat, work, and sleep. I'd be forgetting the day sometimes. It's okay. JTB doesn't know what day it is either. Bancrofts. I want to try. I want to try this. I mean, this also gets more value the earlier you buy it because of its passive. 10% of your max health and mana over three seconds whenever you level up. Well, I will say in terms of like actual magical power, it does it does leave something to be desired. Because it's only 45 and like other items are up to 60, sometimes even a little bit higher, which is absurd. Hello, Loki. I don't mind. Okay, maybe I mind a little bit. All right, relax. You're not that guy, pal. Boom. Oh, one auto kills. Oh, that is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. All right, boop, boop, boop. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. This should be completely free. Um, he's got no ult or anything. Where'd he go? He just ran away. Is he maxing his two, by the way? How did that do so much damage? I think he is maxing his two. Where'd he go? Dude, I'm fighting fucking Houdini. Harry Houdini. All right, can you all? That was the shortest alt I've seen in my life. I mean, I don't really mind if you run past me, to be honest. I don't think you're killing me ever. So I'm chilling. Let's go Curse Weaver, and then we'll, I guess we'll start Bancroft now. I got a little bit of HP. I could also just go Warlocks. Yeah, I could stack HP pretty well. That's my rock. Go away. This is my rock. I will die here. You don't understand the freak of nature I am for a rock, dude. I've killed him. He tried to stealth and he died to Curse Weaver, by the way. If you're wondering what killed him. He tried to use his stealth and he died to Curse Weaver. OP item.
Uh oh. Okay, now you alt away. Again, the shortest alt in existence. Can I do your blue buff? Be cool if I just hang out here for a bit. Oh. I don't think I want you to kill me today, actually. Oops. Oh, I'm dead. Wait. Ah! Oh. Yeah. I thought that I would heal more, to be honest. But I guess it makes sense that I don't. He did my blue. Oh, damn it. Anyone help me with anything? If you... If I can, I'll try. Right, this is free. Rock. He's so scared. I think I'm scared of you. Oh, I was really hoping you ran over to me. I'm gonna run back through here. I don't care. Alright, well, there's his alt. And his other button. His alt and his other button. We just we're just mutually backing. All right. Fair enough. Something like a mutual back. Okay, that that's a message that does not need to be in my chat. I feel like I can kill him really easy right now. I can. I can kill him very easy right now. He thought that body blocking the autos was the play, but actually it's just going to get him killed. Get in there. He got his beads. He does have alt, but I don't think he can kill me, right? Maybe he can. Oh, damn. All right. The trade, the trade. That's fine. I'm okay with the trade. And do I go blink here? I go blink here. That's fine. That's fine. By the way, there was a comment on the uh, last Try Hard Thursday that basically was saying that they don't like when I record Try Hard Thursday on stream because it feels like all my attention is not in the game and like actually tryharding. Um, 
I think yes, Tryhard Thursday is about tryharding, right? That's the whole freaking point of it. But um, at the exact same time, like if all I did was try hard all the time, I would lose my mind. I don't know where he is. So while I'm recording on stream, oh, while I'm recording on stream, um, yes, I, like to some extent, not all of my focus is on the game and try harding my best, but um, genuinely, I feel like it hasn't affected my try hard Thursday because <clears throat> I can't actually fully try hard 24 seven or my brain would explode. Uh, I'm just gonna alt you, see what happens. Okay. Alt for alt, I'll take them. Now your kill potential is completely null and void. And I can try to punch your Phoenix a little bit. Fine by me. I'm surprised. I am surprised that he's not trying to hurt me further. My next item is just going to be a breastplate. I mean, it could be Polly, and I could take Phoenix, but I feel like breastplate opens up Bull Demon. Is that true? Does breastplate open up Bull Demon more? It might be true. It feels like it's true, but I I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not at all. I got Curse Weaver proc on him, so his next ability will trigger that. Look at that damage, dude. When Curse Weaver does proc, my goodness, does it hurt him. He tried to ult me. I put Curse Weaver on him, knowing that he would try to ult me if I dove. He tried to ult me and he insta died, bro. I knew that shit would happen. Oh my god. See, I'm tryharding. I'm thinking through things, man. I'm tryharding. Good stuff, dude. That's sick. Yeah, he's probably so confused on how he died. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck you got me? <laughs> My ult didn't go off and I died. Dude, Curse Weaver is such a good item. It's just unexpected burst damage. Like, it's unexpected 100 damage. And it's nothing I do that procs it. It's what they do that procs it, which is what makes it so good, I think. Because the only way to counter it is to do nothing. Like, literally do nothing. Which, obviously, nobody wants to do nothing. Hello, what if I did this? Can I ult it? Oh, okay. okay. Let's grab red and then let's go hit Titan. He has a lot of anti heal, but I don't think it matters too much. Even if I heal for a very small amount, I'm still I'm still healing, you know what I mean? I'm still doing it. Hello? Damage. Phantasmo. Phantasmo damage. Alright. I'm chilling. Um I could actually kill you here, maybe. Oh, not of my three misses, that's unfortunate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I feel like I need to be scared here. But I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna act like a like a big tough guy. And I'm ulting him and the Titan. Wow. Wow. My ult just killed him. Curse Weaver plus my ult 
did over a thousand damage. No, it did a, just about a thousand damage. I'm telling you, man, Curse Weaver is underappreciated and overlooked. Start buying the item a little bit more because that shit comes in handy. D in game two. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to game two. I'm playing Hebo because, uh, oh, oh, that god is really good right now. I mean, Hebo is really good right now, too, though. Low HP or lower HP and lower protections. Both of these really big burst gods are super good. His name is Leonard PvP. My guess is he's going to PvP me to Oblivion. Um, I'm thinking Bancroft's Breastplate Typhons. How much power does this give? Only 45 now. What is the strongest tier 2 power item in the game now? Um... I actually don't know the answer to that. Oh, probably that in terms of power. You could start like just Doom Orb my, my. with no pots. I will not say no to like, what if I did this? Power. Doom Orb, no pots with med. Is that terrible? Maybe. It doesn't feel terrible. If he ever hits me, I'll, I'll, I'll retract that statement. But Doom Orb sounds pretty good. I think. Um, okay. He is also doing his blue buff. He's not doing his blue buff. Fine. Thank you. He's out, gamer. I missed. I hit him that time. Oh, you are you are not happy. He might be dead. He's dead. Let's go, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The juices that are Hebo are they're turning again, man. So Hebo wasn't that good for a while because after 9.5, um everybody's base hp was just a little bit too high um everyone's base hp was just a little bit too high for him to feel like super impactful in the game um so i think now that 9.5 is reverted also magical protections fun fact magical protections got reduced by 22 percent and 18.9% per level. 18.9% per level. So they are like not even close to as tanky as they were uh, to mages at level 20. Now I will say, I will say that assassins and hunters are like shining right now. Um, but... As much as they're shining, may just may just still have somewhat of a place. They still have somewhat of a place. I don't have alt, but he doesn't know that. Okay, maybe he does know that. Maybe I'm just I'm deceased here. He could have killed me. I think he knows he could have killed me. How do you expect me to hold that? He went for rock instead of me. If I had alt. So, okay, the only thing is, the reason he wouldn't ult is because he thinks that I have ult and I can ult his ult. And then, and then he's the one that dies, not me. Maybe, maybe that's why he didn't ult. Because he never saw my ult. Which I guess is a good thing, because I should have died there, to be honest. And I did ult red buff while he wasn't alive. So, it would only make sense that he didn't know. Nope. I think I can kill you here. Boop. Boop. Insane damage. Insane damage, dude. How much did my ult hit for? It won't tell me because it killed him. All right, that's fine. Let's just do blue. 
115 power. Because of Doom Orb stacks. Now he does have ult. And he knows I do not have ult. So if I fuck this up, it's it's kaputs for me. Although I will say, it seems kinda hard to fuck up. He's maxing his three. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm actually dead. No, I'm not. Oh, oh, he missed ult. Let's go. If he had ult, I'm dead. Okay. Oh, nice jukes. Nice jukes. I'm even mad. This guy's cooking. Oh, God. I think Shiv just moved the chair and it scared the fuck out of me. She moved the chair in the kitchen and it scared the shit out of me. But I'm backing. Um, actually, I'm not going to back. This is kind of stupid, but he doesn't have ult and I do have ult. And I really need to make sure he doesn't get red buff. If he gets red buff, he kills me with like a very, very simple one-two combo. And I think I'm dead here. Nope, I'm chilling. Ult. And we just run. We just run here. Perfect. I got the red buff. I lived to see another day. I'm grabbing breastplate here. Um, I already have chalice, which I guess is fine. By the way, this, uh, this Lancelot, if you could have seen in, in the chat, if you want to rewind the video a little bit, but you could have seen in the chat that this Lancelot is 3000 MMR. So he's no pushover, dude. He's a master's border Lancelot with 3000 MMR. He knows what he's doing. I wanted that one. He's on his horse. So I need to save my abilities for when he jumps off the horse because I genuinely cannot do anything unless he's off the horse. Also, you're dead here unless you ult. Okay, maybe I'm dead here. Oh, uh, okay. Alt away, save the life. That's fine. I will take that. Alt away, save the life. Um, with breastplate. No buffs up on the map. I'm just going to do some tower damage. Uh, are you dead here? Because it kind of seems like you might be dead here. Yeah. Yeah. What could he have done? Um He could have not gone the wave. Honestly, that's that's probably the biggest thing he could have done. Which sounds super dumb, like super counterintuitive, just ignoring the wave. But like he has no defense. I'm Hebo with big damage power item, aka Doom Orb, and I have cooldown. He also could have banned Hebo. That's like, <laughs> I think Hebo is super ban worthy now. He wasn't ban worthy uh, for, like I said, a while since 9.5. But now that it's reverted, you, you got to ban him. Hello. You damage to me? Fine. Don't care too much. Don't care too much about this damage. Still don't care too much about it. Wait, I kind of care. Nice. He was just too strong. Uh, I don't think I need to help that tower. I'll throw one auto at it just to help it a little bit. Because it doesn't take that much time. But I want to make sure that I'm doing his blue. And getting the red. Like I want to make sure I got... I got my timers on lock. Please let me finish this in time. Nice. Now Bancrofts, and honestly, I'm gonna go all the way with it. I'm gonna go all the way Bancrofts to the uh, the bitter end, the shield boy. Two thousand gold ahead. I could go bull demon here, but I 
Oh, I got one. Um, I could go Bull Demon, but I don't know if I could survive Bull Demon plus him. I might end up just simply going, um, Polly. Look at that fucking damage, man. What do you do against that? He's gonna won the wave, I think. Okay. Run by me. Greedy. Greedy boy, greedy boy. He wanted to, uh, he wanted to protect the Phoenix, but he just can't. That three all does too much damage. Damage. Um, now he has ult. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not scared of him, I don't think. Oh, maybe I should have been. Oh, I'm chilling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what an insane knockup, dude. What an insane knockup. Holy. If that if that three missed, I died. That was crazy. Man, I'm 3,100 gold ahead. Holy shit. Yeah, he was a completely broken god. Completely broken god. Anyways, um, GG. I will see you guys in game number three. All right, game three on her. Let's do it. Game three on her. Let's do it. I didn't want to play on her because Kali was open, but then he last banned Kali. I guess I can take my face game off for a second so you guys can see the bands. Um, Lancelot is open. I don't mind the Lancelot too much. It's a lot harder with Honor than it was with Hebo, obviously. But I can still win. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was the craziest stretch of my life. This world is very promising. Very innocent. I think I'm still going to go. I could go Storm Seeker. What? No, I was stretching. It is just the craziest stretch of my life. Shiv thought that I, I roasted and toasted my tongue on the, uh, the latte she just brought in. Which, <laughs> she has reason to believe I do that because I do it very often. Um, why in particular did you not want on her into Kali? Uh, because Kali is kind of, well, she's slow immune in her alt, which means when I use my one, she can just alt. So if I ever miss a two at any point, I die, which having that amount of pressure on you to, to hit a certain ability, um, even if like it's an ability you have to hit regardless, but having that amount of pressure on you is fucking terrifying. As long as I'm near a wall here, I should be all right. Um, I assume he's going to invade me again. I don't think he can get it. Um, but we'll see. He's not invading me this time. Um... That was pretty good. That was pretty good for me. I stopped his dash. I stopped his dash with my pillar. The archers. So when he was when he was running at me there, low HP. The only option he had was to not hit me. 
But he was so low HP that if he if he landed an auto on me or like any ability, uh, archers aggroed him and he just dies. I'm gonna ult the red. I'm gonna back. I should not have used my second health pot there, honestly, if I was gonna back, but better safe than sorry. It's fine. It was a multi pot, anyways. So I got Griffin Wing, which basically gives me a in game aim bot. Um, sure. Oh, that's tragic. I got all three of the minis, which is literally the reason I jumped on him. I don't think he can kill me. You got no items. Yeah, he has no items. He cannot kill me. We just get his ult for free. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next item is just an Aussie, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure Aussie's gonna be enough. Just doing some damage. Hmm. I don't know. Can I actually do anything here? Or am I just kind of farming slowly? Let's get this and then go wait for treasure chests. I mean, I'm going to abuse him a little bit if I can. Land an auto or two, but... That's fine. Treasure chest it is. We wait right here. Thank you. The reason I always wait right here um, for the treasure chest to spawn is because you can see two of the three spawns. Hello. Into the blue buff. Uh, you are definitely alting out. Nice. Nice. So when everyone... So there's a lot of people that go into the blue buff pit and the way they juke is just left, right, left, right. All you have to do is throw next to them and they'll walk into it basically 10 out of 10 times like i i observed his juking pattern for like a second or two there nothing crazy but he was just doing this and he wasn't switching it up it wasn't like left left right left left you know it was just left right left right left right so there's not much not much different there now he knows i don't have alt which means he can get the red buff unless i'm here to fight him I mean, he probably still gets it. Nice. I got it. All right, now you ult because you die if you don't. Nice. Nice. Big kill. And we got the red buff. And now we get rock. I guess it's worth it to just do this wave. I don't think I die to him. He's got no alt. I pro I'm probably fine here. Yeah. 180 impel was nice. Thank you, Witchcraft. I appreciate it. Oh, he's going solely to Do I? I just go Xy though, right? I'm chilling. Oh, well played. Well, actually not well played, because you're dead. I was going to say well played, but like you don't have ult from red buff fight. You don't have ult from red buff fight, and I do have ult from red buff fight. So <clears throat> we go berserkers and then we go executioner with the anti heal on top. He's going soul leader now. Um, but he still has to stack it. So I got some time to get Executioner online. Nice. 
Alright. Not bad. Oh, just surrendering. Alright. That's fine. I mean I'm I'm playing really well, to be honest. I don't think I missed an impale that entire game. Um, except for the one except for the impale that I threw at him, but it hit the wall near the XP camp. But I didn't miss any other impale. Alright, see you guys next game. Welcome back, video gamers. We're playing Freya. And this is like the old lineup, by the way. This is a bad counter matchup for me. But this is like an old lineup of um of duel, man. I think I've played Hades, Kibo, on her, and now Freya. Yeah, I also I also edit my own videos sometimes, but like if the if the video requires actual editing and not just like cutting stuff out and like some fade-ins here and there uh shiv does it because she's a genius and i'm not a genius she's just really good at um editing she learned she learns very quick Yeah, she does all my thumbnails for me now. I mean, she'll occasionally she'll miss one and I'll do it. Just because she's like asleep or she's busy that day. But uh, for the most part, she does all my thumbnails. And if a video requires editing, she does it for me. Except for like Try Hard Thursdays, I, I do myself. Tuesdays, Thursdays, stuff like that. That is so tragic that I missed an auto. No! Oh, I got him. Nice. Stop. Uh, oh, God, I lived. Holy fuck. He tried to cringe me so hard, dude. He tried to cringe me so hard, dude. Holy crap. Invade on the blue with the horrific criminal. Oh, he got that, bro. He got that, brother. That is so bad for me. He's going Storm Seeker, by the way. First item Storm Seeker. It's not bad. I like it quite a bit, actually. It's really good early game damage. Bancroft should be able to keep me alive for the most part. But I'm never going to be able to kill him. Do not auto me. Actually, quite good damage there. Quite good damage there for me. Um, let's just go berserkers. Okay, I can't yet. Stormseeker into defense. That's fine. My second relic needs to be beads, by the way. Because of that. Um, 
Will you let me have this? God damn it, dude. 30 HP is so tragic, man. All these buffs are just getting yoinked by like the worst odds. And I can't fight him because he like he thrives on me fighting him. Do not auto me. Block my auto. God damn it. God damn it, dude. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. There is no point in playing this video game out right now. Yeah, go ahead. Silence me. Disarm me. Go ahead. That's fine. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. This is big stink. I'm going to go this just because it gives me some attack speed. Only 4% apparently, but the lower I get, the more it'll give me. I just have to withstand the early, I think. Once it gets to like a decent late game. Stop trying to hit me, weirdo. All right, he wants his blue. I am not letting you hit me. Nice. Nice. You are not allowed to hit me. You wanted to go crazy aggro for the blue. It's a good thing I picked up the wing shard, by the way. I was going to go the uh, the AOE one. But the wing shard move speed is actually saving my ass here. I can still move completely in it. He's going Shogun's into I assume Aussie. It could be it could be uh actually anti heal but Aussie probably feels really good right now. Now that it has base pen and shit. Still has eight stack. I assume I will not be able to get this. I am able to get this. Okay, fine by me. He altered so he could get three stacks. I'm actually completely okay with fighting this, and in fact, I think I will. not the greatest thing for me um because he did get he basically doubled his storm seeker stacks there which means he's pretty happy about that fight even though he lost but i don't know i don't know i should be completely fine i think just because of the fact that um like, yes, he, he doubled his stacks, but I got ahead off that. I'm two levels ahead. I don't know if he horrific there or not. His attack speed is getting dangerously fast, though, to be honest. I'm okay with you hitting me with that hammer. I'm okay with that. That is not what I... Oh, I fucked that up really bad. I'm okay with this.
I think he dies here. Yep. Good again. Good again. I really want his his blue buff. But I don't think I can get it. I just have to let him have it. He is going XE. Okay. So XE, I actually don't think is the right play for him. Which is great for me. Um, I'm going to go bead second relic. But XE's good for me because he's getting anti-heal. But I'm not winning these fights based off my life steal. I'm never like... I'm never like dramatically low and sustaining myself with my life steal. It's literally... Life steal is just meant to keep me at full health for when we fight. Not during the fight. So I actually think that his anti-heal is a bait. At least in this matchup. He just did his blue. Gonna pop out the left and punch him in the side of the head. Fine. If you ult me, it's also fine. I think it just beads it. I do way more than enough damage to get that easily. You got rock. I don't know where it went. He got rock and disappeared. Maybe he got rocking back. I think it's bait. Freya life still goes dumb. My life steal is not uh what's gonna win me this game though. There we go. Right. Well, I don't know what that was, but well, we killed him. Oh, he DC'd. Oh, he DC'd. I will pause for him. I mean, I I don't know. Maybe he just. Rage closed his game, but I doubt it. So let me explain my life steal during this pause. So the reason that I think that his anti heal is bait is not because of the fact that Freya doesn't heal a lot. It's because when I am healing, I want to not be in combat. I'm specifically getting my life steal. It happens. Happened to me a thrice yesterday. The R goes before the I, but whatever. Um, my life steal is meant specifically for the penetration, the attack speed, and to keep me at full health for when the fight starts. During the fight, I don't expect to be healing at all, to be honest. And he's dedicating a, a toxic blade to it as well. So he's dedicating more items to it. Which I just don't think it's worth it. I beads because I might be able to kill him here. Oh. Alright. Good ult. Good ult. Yeah, my damage is crazy good right now. I got the demonic, which gives me a lot of power, which I mean, demonic gives you attack speed by itself, but also the fact that it's giving me power, which gives me more attack speed from Bancroft and more damage, obviously. Very, very nice. It is so hard, like, it's so hard for him to beat a Freya late game. 
it's easy for him early because i have no attack speed so his three like demolishes me and his his one really protects him but later in the game like now like mid game to late game he just doesn't have the resources necessary oh that's mine by the way doesn't have the resources necessary and there's the toxic blade toxic blade is a little bit different because it it has anti-heal but it also has like anti-attack speed which is pretty good okay that's fine I do not mind that You don't even come close to winning this fight. You do not even come close to winning that fight. See, that's the thing. Like, he has so much dedicated towards stopping my healing that his actual fighting potential is so low. I mean, I'm not saying X is a bad item, but like, an Aussie would have been better for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, he's still coming to my streams. Let's go, baby. Alright. Um Let's just do this. We'll go Cyclopean Ring and then we're gonna start building into Hastened. My attack speed is now maxed out 2.5. So at this point in the game, there's nothing he can do. Like he's already He's... It's over. And my damage is going to be... Far too good. Yeah. Too strong, man. Too strong. So what a lot of people think about Freya is that her damage is reliant on power. But like she's almost like Baka. I watched the video where there was a Latem AMC. <laughs> That's so hard to find. Like a specific YouTube video through my 5,000 YouTube videos is so hard to find. Um, But anyways, Freya is kind of like Baka Sura where as long as you get attack speed, you'll do damage. You know, like, even if you have almost no power, which I did have some power, obviously, this game. Like, I can... I had, yeah, 500 magical power. Like, I had power, but even at, like, half of that, like, only 200 power, if you just have attack speed, you win. Like, she just pumps out so much damage so quickly, it doesn't matter. All right, see you guys next game. What's up, boys? Welcome back to the last game of Trial Thursday, and we are playing Kali vs. A Medusa. A little Medusa? All right, all right, all right, all right. Roku the Mage? Who's Roku? Like Avatar Roku? He's not really a mage. He's just, he's just a, he's just a bender. Maybe he's not talking about Avatar Roku. Maybe he's talking about a different, a different right role. information. I, I don't know exactly. <laughs> um, so all right, power. I like power. I like Blackthorn. Let's go Blackthorn. My damage will not be that great early. Bear with me. Bear with me. Roku Yu Huang skin is a mage. True. Maybe he's a Yu Huang enjoyer. Avatar Roku enjoyer. Um, so almost every single person today has tried to steal my buff. Once or twice, depending on how many times I fought them. This guy's not going to try that, right? Like he, he would never. He'd never try to steal my buff. He'll let me have it. Because, I'll be honest, I'm kind of sick of losing my first blues.
All right, I out cleared him. Get shit on. Get shit on. But he's still clearing. It took him 19 decades to clear his blue buff. I graduated college before he cleared his blue. You know, I say that a lot. And I think it's just because I wish I graduated college. <laughs> but instead, I dropped that to pursue streaming, man. What an idiot. I'm jumping on you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, good shell. Good shell. I'm not even mad. No, don't stay. Don't stay. I don't want to have to kill you like this. Okay, fine. You did it to yourself. Run away. Run away. Oh, bummer. I'm looking a bit rough. Greedy, greedy. Greedy, greedy. You should not say. He is so far behind because he's so greedy. All right, as long as I back, I'm fine. I got this. To be fair, I did graduate college and I'm watching you do my... I'm watching you instead of doing my work. So who's the real idiot? You're getting paid for not doing your work and watching me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't kill me. Oh, oh. Nice. Tim just whooped me and I'm a doctor. <laughs> Yo, can I get uh can I get free checkups for life? Hold my nuts and cough type stuff. Oh, what the lag? Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. Oh, oh. I'm dodging. No, wait, no, this is bad. No. Oh. Uh, all right, Hydros. Actually, let's go Transcendence first and then we'll go Hydros. All right, I should probably pay, play a little more patient here. Medusa has a lot of burst and I need to respect it. I went a little bit too trolly. A little too trolly. He doesn't have Storm Seeker. Oh, he went Jotun's. He's going ability based Medusa, but without the blue stone, which I don't think is very good. I think if you're going ability based Medusa, you need the blue stone. Also, I leveled my jump instead of my three, which might be okay because of the rework to Kali's jump. So now Kali's jump heals you for a certain amount of heal plus 10% of the targets missing HP. Previously, it was only the missing targets HP that healed you. So it's not a huge rework, but it is a rework. I think overall, it's probably it's probably just a change in in stats, like a, a movement of stats. I don't think it's actually a buff or a nerf. Did he shell that, by the way? That burst did not go as well as I thought it would. Oh, it was the bronze mail. Oh, good damage there. Holy shit. Landing the triple two there. He's in danger of dying. Oh my goodness. All right, surely you're not going to come over here. Oh, he's backing. We'll get this. 
All right, I did not want to take that tower shot. Ouch. I want red buff, so I'm going to wait. Things are getting when the dust. blue buff timer says four, I can start backing because it takes five seconds to back. It'll pick up the buff. Trust me. Sometimes the best um, is a good to it. Mid guardian. Okay. I'm slow immune in my ult, so it doesn't matter too much when I'm like chasing a kill. But in terms of poke, I guess it matters a little bit. I don't know where the Chesterfields are, by the way. Are they over here? They are over here. Hello? Oh, did I just give him his blue? I don't want to give him his blue. I mean, so far, it's kind of just a dominating performance. I'm a thousand gold up. And I feel like I've done nothing. So those things. You get rock. Stand on this side so he can't hurt me. Hit on me does less damage than auto attacks do, so. Oh, he dashed. Randomly. Does that mean he has to back now? And I can just kill the tower? That is a big misplay. That's actually a terrible misplay. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna surrender because of that misplay. That sucks. I'm so sorry. Is Kali Alt affected by anti heal? Kali Alt is affected by anti heal. Well, not the alt itself, but the passive, the healing passive. So the reason he surrendered there is because he loses tower. Um, he's already 1100 gold behind and a, and a level behind. And then I just go get a free bull demon because if he comes over to bull demon, I kill him for free. So it's a fair surrender, I think. Uh, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed the tryhard Thursday. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. He said, not really. What a way to end things.